guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you how I got this makeup look using the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. I really love this palette and what I love about it is that the colors are so warm and they are so up my alley. These are the type of colors that I personally gravitate towards. So this palette is just perfect to take anywhere you go. I know I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this palette in particular just because I mean, all my favorite colors are in there. <laughs> so it's like so easy to just grab and take with you wherever wherever you need to go. I picked up this palette after swatching it in store only because, you know, there's so much makeup coming out recently and I just can't seem to get my hands on everything. It would just be too expensive. Hey guys, so here I'm just priming my skin and moving on to foundation. I'm going in with my favorite foundation at the moment in the shade F300. I find that this foundation wears very nicely during the summer. It doesn't seem to cake up on my skin and it has a light to medium coverage. It is a buildable foundation and I love applying this with a beauty blender simply because it is a thicker, moussier consistency so it blends out perfectly with the beauty blender and it goes on so nicely and light. Now for my concealer, I'm using the Better Than Skin Concealer and I've really been loving this concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right underneath my eyes where my dark circles are and around my nostrils. I don't know why it's not picking up on camera that I have applied a product there, but I did. <laughs> so I'm just gonna blend that out with a Morphe G2 brush. I'm using the same concealer to highlight in a lighter shade and I'm going to apply it to the areas of my face that I want to highlight, which are the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my under eye, and my cupid's bow. Now using a beauty blender and my Morphe G2 brush, I'm just going to go ahead and work this concealer into my skin. Now you don't have to use both a beauty blender and a brush. You can simply use a beauty blender or a brush. This is just the way I personally prefer to do it. Next, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, and I'm using the lighter shades to set my under eye using a Morphe brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this back and forth into my skin, and to set the rest of my face, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder and a big powder brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this into my skin. I'm not rubbing it. Next, using my primer, I'm just priming my eyes, and then I'm setting it as well with the RCMA No Color Powder. So for my crease color, I'm taking the color Raw Sienna in a Morphe M433 brush and I'm blending this color using back and forth motions with this brush, focusing the majority of the color on the outer crease and slowly building up the color to the intensity that I want. I'm taking the color Burnt Orange on a Sigma E25 brush and I'm just going to use this color to define my crease a little bit more. As you can see, I'm adding more depth. Taking the color Railgar, I'm going to go ahead and use that as my outer V color and I'm just going to slowly intensify this color because it is a red. You don't want it to look patchy or anything like that so you just want to take a little bit of product at a time and just build up the color. So you'll just see me working this color a lot and going back and forth. Next, I'm taking the color Tempra as my brow bone highlight, and with this fluffy brush, I'm just binding the two colors together. Using the color Primavera on my eyelid, I'm using back and forth patting motions to apply this color so that it's more opaque. I find that when you use patting motions with an eyeshadow on your eyelid, it just goes on a lot more opaque than it would if I were to rub it on. Taking the same color Railgar, I'm just binding those two colors together so that there's no harsh lines. And with this color, it's the color Red Ochre, I'm going to go and define my crease just a little bit more to add more depth and intensity to the look. I'm setting my eyebrows in place using the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper. And I am going to go ahead and apply false eyelashes off camera and I'm going to bind my real lashes and my falsies together using this Benefit Roller Lash Mascara which I've been loving lately. 
I am also going to apply a bronzer to my face using the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. To contour my cheeks, I'm going to go ahead and use the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette and I'm using the color Shadow Play. I'm going to go ahead and contour the hollows of my cheeks. I'm also going to contour my jawline underneath my chin and I am going to take a smaller brush, a smaller angle brush and just contour my nose just a little bit. I'm using the Anastasia That Glow Kit to highlight my cheekbones of course and I'm going to go ahead and highlight the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. I'm taking the, this blush and pomple mousse and it did turn out a little bit bright but at the same time I did like the way the look turned out. I kind of brought the brush, the brush, the blush down too low so I went ahead and cleaned it up with the RCMA no color powder and I'm just baking right underneath there. Even though I'm not mentioning all the colors I'm using on my lower lash line, they are being listed on the screen. So here I'm just applying my mascara and I'm going to go ahead and highlight my inner corner with MAC Nylon. To line my lips guys, I'm using one of my all time favorite colors. This is a Jordana Rock and Rose Lip Liner. And for my all over lip color, I'm using the Maybelline Vivid Matte Lip Color in the color Nude Thrill. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this look by setting it with the Scandinavia setting spray. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this look.